Welcome to my birthday. So, I wanted to start out a little update. I haven't posted for a while. Uh, not that it's a big deal one way or the other, but today is my birthday. And it's getting close to a really big birthday and I've been in a really bad funk. It's one of those funks that has taken a lot out of me. Is it because of what's going on in the world? Probably. Um, is it because of habits that I've created over the last way too many years? Most definitely. And, uh, oh, just one neat Pippin here. This is Pippin, uh, a little puppy. He's gonna be one years old on Halloween. But that's not why we're here. So, just want to read a little something out of my um, not necessarily daily journal. Uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Um, but I want to read something out of here if you will give me the grace to do so. Please don't do that. You can get down. Why don't you go bug the kitty? The troubles, the successes, they are real, lack of motivation, the bad decisions, the pain and the reality of life make it hard. If it was easy, then we wouldn't have these problems, right? Some people just coast through these things mostly by habit or by slogging through, especially if they have to. Some struggle greatly and others are middle of the road. I typically am middle of the road. Now I just need to do the hard work and do the work. Not caring about what is going on around me, it is a recovery thing sometimes. The act of not knowing what to do is the hardest part. Do formal or not so formal works of art. Working out ideas or whatnot, brainstorming, non-lateral thinking, also known as Poe. We'll talk about that sometime. What if, why not? This is something I have hanging up in my studio, uh, sometimes on my easel, sometimes on the wall. Juxtaposition of this or that. So I ask myself, why do I have a problem just doing? You know, sometimes even just the vloggy part of my, my work that I do. When others are around, especially when others are around. This is something I need to work out for sure and should take many days exploring. Why is this shyness I still hold and why is it holding me back? So, I'm a very, very introverted person. Uh, I sometimes call myself an extroverted introvert, but I'm really, and sometimes I can be super introverted. This next year, I am planning on, and this is in the description that I've always had in my, my YouTube channel description, my art and myself doing things that are transformative. This next year, that word transformative is going to be my call to myself to be what I want to be in the second half of my life. Well, who knows if it's a full half, but I won't get morbid here. Um, again, this is a quick update, and I just wanna say one more thing for my journal, which is going to get a lot more work out of it, I think. Um, I do something called action items. These items are, yes, to-do lists sometimes, um, but they're more than to-do lists. And 
it's something I'll talk about more as we get into this year. And uh, so, um, these are some things I've been writing recently, um, when I'm in that mood anyway. Um, so action items recently. Remember, there's a checkbox by that. Reminisce. I've got those kind of bracketed off and put the stories. So I want to think about my life as it has been and where it's going and um, bring those stories back to life uh, because I've done a lot of weird, fun things in my life. But let's go on. Write nearly every day. Okay, I've said that already. Draw nearly every day. I'm gonna try to draw every day or at least some form of art. Be present. I think that's very important, being present. Being aware of your surroundings and the things that are driving forces in your life. Being strong, not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, strong in heart. These are things I'm gonna probably talk about and write about a lot. Be healthier. Um, I eat pretty healthy. I don't exercise as much as I should. I do typically get 10,000 steps in a day. Puppy helps with that a lot, I guarantee you. But eating healthier, less alcohol, you know, cutting out bad sugars. I have a bad habit. My caffeine is a cola beverage from one of the big two. And I, I want to cut that out, go back to tea, and maybe try coffee again. And you know, my, my friend um, Eric, he just discovered pour overs and, and the salty that coffee can be. I just don't like regular brewed coffee. So maybe I'll play around with that. And read. I've been doing a lot of that lately, so that's, that's not gonna be a hard thing. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe you guys wanna know what I'm reading. Uh, a lot of it's gonna be sci-fi, fiction, um, and some other things, but it drives a lot of things in my brain and I wanna really continue doing that more. Um, and then the last thing, it's, it's a lessons learned thing. And this comes from my work also a little bit where when things aren't going well, after the project's done, what are the lessons to be learned? Because yeah, I can do time-lapse paintings all day long, but if I don't get any, anything out of them and you don't get anything out of them, what's the point? So, um, yeah. And I do, I, I do write those almost every day now when I do write, and I'll continue writing those. Um, and ways to find to get around these creative blocks. So, I hope that I can get through this really tough time. I've done a couple videos about what to do when you're just kind of blah. This thing has gotten a little too far and too out of hand. I've done a couple recent paintings and I've been drawing a little bit more lately, but it has to be more. So, you know what? Won't bore you anymore. I'll talk to you. Talk to you soon. The cat is snoring. That's pretty typical of my cat. She's obviously sleeping.